hey, quickly, just quickly while I remember, um, my shop, Michaela.com slash shop, actually has a surprise new item this week and it is closing on the 30th of November. That is it for the festive season. So if you want anything, the Christmas mugs, this new special item, which is only literally going to be available for these few days, um, then get them now. I will leave it linked for you below. It is closing on the 30th and that is it for this year. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have another Friday Faves and Fails and we're going to have a little chat about the change of name. So you may have noticed that uh, my channel name has changed. My channel name has changed and I have also changed my other channel, what I've always considered to be my vlogging channel, um, I've changed that name as well. That's been kind of through a bit of a transformation in the past 12 months. Um, and I feel like it's been a really, really long time coming here as well. I named my channel Miss Budget Beauty in 2010. Um, for quite a while, that fit. And then it didn't feel like it did. And I was talking about things that weren't beauty. I was talking about beauty that wasn't budget. Um, a lot of it just kind of started to feel like if you're finding me now, this doesn't make sense. Because I have two separate channels, I didn't want to just go with my name like lots of people do. So I've decided to go for Kyla Talks or Michaela Talks rather here because I talk about all kinds of things. It's probably not going to change the content that you see all that much. I just feel like it makes more sense with the content that I am putting out because it just feels less pigeonholing. And Michaela vlogs, which will basically be whatever else and probably mostly vlogs, will be over on my other channel. When I've talked about maybe changing my channel name in the past, lots of people have said, um, just leave it as it is. But it is mostly because of people finding me now and um, not understanding kind of the growth. Seeing me now and not understanding where I've come from. I just felt like it was time. So I'm going to kick off with some things that I thought were a bit meh. Um, first of all, I've got this Grown Alchemist Biological Beauty Body Cream. Do you know, I think both of these things came in my FabFitFun boxes. I think that they did. And I'm always a little bit more disappointed when I'm disappointed with those things because I think they were expensive. Although I got them on a deal, although I got them in my box and so I didn't pay full price for them, they're usually quite pricey items. And so I expect them to be better than your average thing. And this just wasn't. I mean, this is terrible. It's called Grown Alchemist Body Cream. The smell, it's just not, I don't like it at all. It kind of smells like sweets, but not in a good way. It didn't feel hydrating at all. I'm not even going to use the rest of it. Like I was trying to use it up. I just, I feel like I've got other ones, like Nivea is better than this. This just was really, really disappointing. Um, the other one that was, was this Away Detox Shampoo. I got this and I got one of those little scalp scrubbers. I just don't think it did much, to be quite honest. I used it at first and I was feeling really bougie because Away is quite expensive hair care. I was like, oh, this is really nice. And then I'll use it once a week, like people talk about um, oh, well, having a proper routine. And on a Sunday, I use my detox shampoo and then it gets rid of all of my products for the week. That's not me, number one. I was using this. I was thinking, this is not better than normal shampoo. My hair didn't feel different and... I wouldn't pay for that shampoo. Another kind of disappointing product, but that was previously favourite, is this. I don't understand whether or not I've just had it for too long and it just doesn't work that well anymore. I don't get it, but the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask is fantastic. Theoretically, this is absolutely amazing. I love it. I've just realised my nail polish is all chipped. Forgive me. So this. I have told you before, I absolutely love this stuff. And it is really, really nice. It smells nice. It's a really thick balmy, I mean I've used most of it, a thick balmy lip mask for nighttime. All of a sudden it's doing absolutely nothing at all. So has anyone else had this experience? It lasts quite a long time so surely I'm not the only one to have had this for like over 12 months and still been using it. My lips have been super dry and this is just not doing it at all. I've used loads of different lip balms and um I feel like they're just drier than average and I'm struggling. And the one that I wanted to mention it's so simple and it's the one that I like the most for day to day because it's not too heavy it's not it's not much of anything it's just kind of really easy for day to day you can wear it underneath lipstick if you really want to but you know it's kind of dry enough that you don't feel like you can see it on your lips and it's not like gonna travel I find with stuff like this if I wear that in the daytime it tends to bleed out 
um, the Burt's Bees, this is the Ultra Conditioning, I got this one for holiday, I usually like the vanilla one the best, but this one specifically really has helped with this crazy dryness that I'm getting right now. It's not even like I'm not peeling, cracking, none of that, it's just dry, it just feels like all of the moisture has been sucked out of my lips. And this has been the only thing of all of the lip balms that I have been able to um, rely on. Do you know, I'm just realising now, because I thought this would be, this will be it, and it wasn't, and that's why I'm mentioning it as a bit of a miss this week, because I don't understand why it's not working. I need to find my, um, what is it called? This, Nukes Rev de Mille. This will be what I'm putting on tonight. This is like, um, well, it's just a totally different thing. It's not like any other kind of lip balm. It is orangey in scent, which is beautiful, but it's kind of like a, a matte. It's a weird thing, but it works really well usually. Oh, it smells so good. It smells very like luxurious spa-like. Right, I'll be using that tonight because I forgot all about it. Something else I've been using every single day, morning and night, is the Rapid Brow. Um, I talked about this when I first started using it again. I had this years and years ago and was so impressed with it. Um, it's an eyebrow enhancing serum. Basically, it helps to grow your eyebrows. It's about 30 some pounds, which is expensive, but if you consider the options now that people are doing, you know, like laminated brows, um, I mean, obviously tinted, whatever else you wanna do, but especially microblading, it's not cheap. And I've had my brows microbladed quite a few times. I have to have them done at least once a year. I had them last done, I think, when was it? I think it was the beginning of this year and they just fade so quickly on me. Tattoos in any kind of way fade so quickly. Also, the last time I mentioned this, because I've spoken about it loads and sometimes I feel like I'm repeating myself so I don't always say the same things. But the last time I mentioned this, I got so many comments from people saying it's your skincare. I'm with you. Anything that I use like glycolic acids, uh, retinols, that kind of thing, are gonna fade pigment like that faster. 100%, that's definitely true. That isn't the only reason that this is happening. They fade almost immediately before I've ever done any kind of skincare like that. But now I know I'm happy with them fading because I'm actually trying to see whether or not they'll fade out and I can do something else instead. I am using this, I'm using other things just liberally and not being careful anymore. This is one of the things that um, they say not to use if you've had microbladed eyebrows. So if you've got them and you're thinking you'll do this on top, if you wanna preserve your microblading, don't do this. I'm putting it on every single morning and night. I'll show you what it looks like. It's got like a little brush, but one end is longer than the other. So I put the product on with the longer bit and then I brush through my brows with this little short bit there. Um, and I'm just, it's mostly focusing on this kind of, on the tail, because that's the bit where I've got the least amount of hair. And I can't believe how much I've grown. It's difficult for me to show. I was gonna take a before and after picture, but because I have got the microblading, it's difficult. Um, I can see there is probably 50% more hair there already. And I think it's been maybe four weeks. Just mega impressed. If you've got um, rubbish eyebrows, if you were a child of the early 2000s and plucked them to death, um, I think you'll be really happy with this because I have had this before. Um, and I remember, do I just grew them out for ages and ages using this stuff for probably three months. And then I went to benefit had them brows, had my brows done, Blah. went to benefit, had my brows done, tinted, shaped, the whole thing. And I just couldn't get over the fact that they were just my eyebrows. It is possible to grow them back. The only thing I will say is it's a permanent thing in your routine. You can't just stop using this and then they're your brows. Same as the one for eyelashes. It's the reason that I never kept up with that. You have to use it every single day because it will just stop. Like you won't get the same growth all the time because I did hair pushes out, same as the hair on your head. It's a growth cycle and it just will con like stop growing in the same way that it does right now. Once those hairs, those extra hairs have gone, they won't come back unless you continue to use the rapid brow. So that's annoying and it is expensive, but as I said, I feel like it's not too terrible because the alternatives are also so expensive. Last thing I wanna talk about um, I don't, did I speak about these last week? I feel like I did, but maybe it was in a different video. These are the Maybelline Superstay inks. I was talking about lips that I wanted to last underneath masks because it's a mask mandate in New York right now, which is fingers crossed, everything, everything crossed will be where we are next week. Um, and someone reminded me of these and I've got loads of these in my drawer. So these are the uh, Superstay inks from Maybelline. I used to be obsessed with these. These were my absolute favorites when I was going through my liquid lip stage. 
So what I'm using at the moment is two different colours and I am blending them together. This is Amazonian, this kind of like brownie colour, like that. And this is Dreamer. And it looks like this, which is beautiful on its own. But together, they make this like gorgeous neutrally amazingness I'll show you it's a color that doesn't exist but you can blend them together I blend them together on my lips that color in the middle I wear tons but it doesn't exist and with stuff like this you can totally I mean mix and match doesn't even have to be the same brand I used to do this with the Revlon um crayons you know the chamber there's like they weren't balms but were they balms they were like a color balm but it was like a matte oh I was obsessed the matte lip crayons from Maybelline no from Revlon I'm all over the place today um loved and I used to put them on my mouth and I used to color another color on top and mix them together on my mouth it was just what a time to be alive don't be afraid to uh get creative with the stuff that you've got that is everything I wanted to talk about this week, aside from the fact that I have become completely obsessed with Animal Crossing. I mentioned it in last week's Friday Faves and Fails, I know, and it is to the point now where I actually have to put the console down because my wrist hurts. The entire Sunday, I was feeling pretty stressed out about some travel stuff, and I just needed to kind of switch off, and not think about anything else. I terraformed, I dug lakes, I planted flowers, I went on boat trips, I did all of these things in my little escapism island, um, but I played all Sunday and my wrist was crippled. I was just, I woke up today and was, oh, my wrist hurts so much. So word of warning kids, if you bought a Switch after I told you they were great last week, they're dangerous. <laughs>